What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be talking about the three types of dropshipping advertisements. We're going to be talking about the pros and cons of each one, figuring out which advertising strategy is right for you. And then I'm going to be releasing three separate videos addressing each type in depth and showing you how you can make them. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, so the first type of advertisement that I want to talk about is video ads. Video ads probably count for like 80% of my advertising, but they're not the most beginner friendly and we'll get into why in a second. The biggest con with video ads is that they take so long to make and for some products it can be hard to find content to use for the ad. So you would have to order the product to your house and film a video yourself. That would take even longer. Since video ads take so long to make, they're not very beginner friendly. I like to test three different ads per product. So if you're just starting out and you don't know what products are gonna work, then that means you could be spending hours making advertisements for a product that may just not even work. However, there are a lot of benefits to video ads, hence why I'm using them so much. Video ads always seem to convert better for me, both with Instagram influencers and with Facebook ads. You have the ability to show off your product more than you can with any other form of advertising. Another pro of video ads is when you're using Facebook ads, you can create a lookalike audience based off of people that have viewed a certain percentage of your video. Those can be extremely powerful, by the way. The next type of advertisement that we're gonna talk about is native ads. Remember when I mentioned that I use video ads for about 80% of my advertisements? Well, native ads account for about 15 of that remaining 20%. The other five being covered by picture advertisements, which we'll get into next. But for that 15%, I'm either A, sending the product to an influencer so that they can post a picture using it, or B, I'm just getting someone to post like a Twitter style advertisement or something like that where the customer doesn't really know it's an advertisement until they really look into it. Granted, native ads can be video ads as well, but I classify them separately because I consider video something that really showcases your product or the sale that you're having. And if you did that with a native advertisement, then you'd kind of be eliminating the whole purpose of it, which is to not seem like an advertisement. The biggest problem with native ads is that you need to be super creative in finding an influencer page that correlates with your advertisement. I'm not sure if that makes total sense, but don't worry, we're gonna be going super in depth on that during the native ads section of this series. The next advertising method is picture ads. These are probably the easiest and quickest to make, but in my opinion, they're also the least effective. If you go on YouTube and type in how to make a dropshipping ad, you're gonna see dozens of videos of people on Canva making basic picture ads. I use picture ads for retargeting, but that's about it. All right guys, I know this video was super short, but I hope you learned something. And if not, don't worry because I am gonna be uploading in-depth videos on each one of these advertisements and that will be up by the end of the week. You don't wanna miss that, so be sure to smash that big red subscribe button. You guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.